Hey friends, it's another beautiful day here in New York City and today I'm going to plant these beautiful seedlings in my green stock, some of them. They are not gonna fit here because I'm also going to be planting some carrot seeds. I'm very excited for this. Look at all of these beautiful varieties that I have right here. I have a lot of different colored ones. I'm so excited. I grew carrots in my green stock last year and they did well, so I'm gonna do it again. Just gonna make sure I'm gonna throw a very nice mix in there. And if you're new here, my name is Mari and I'm gardening in Queens, New York City. This is considered zone 7B. It is safe for us now to plant some cold weather crops, not the warm weather crop stuff yet. No tomatoes, no peppers yet, it's too cold for them. But for some broccoli, some cauliflower, I also have some Napa cabbage in here. All of them are frost hardy. That means that they can stand a little bit of a frost or some cold weather. They actually thrive in the cold weather. In fact, they don't actually really like when it gets too hot. So it's important that we plant them early enough so they have time to mature before the weather warms up too much. Last year, I put my brassicas, that's what the plants in this family is called, out about mid-March, about the same time as now, and they did really good. The cauliflower even took a little too long to mature, but I think that's because the previous location I had to garden was a bit more shaded, so I'm gonna try again this year, and I'm gonna see that how they're gonna do. They have been acclimating outside for about, for a little over a week now. If you're gonna plant them out early, you have to really keep an eye on your 10-day forecast and make sure that it's safe for you to do so. And if you do get a frost, it's okay. If you cover them at night, they should be okay to handle just fine, depending how cold it gets where you live. Here in Zone 7B, should be okay for us to plant out by this time. I started the seedlings over a month ago. They're getting really big. It's just time for them to get out. I am not going to plant all of them in there, like I said. I want to also give them some space since I'm planting them on the green stock. The green stock is this nice vertical planter. I have three of them. There's two more in there. I love them because they really help me saving some space. And there are mini pockets in here. They have a watering system. You just put some water in the top of the reservoir and they have some watering desks all over the steers and the water just comes down and you water them all evenly. So you can see that there are a few things already growing here. This was overwintered, stayed here the whole winter and survived. I have a few things that are popping up, I think from last year. This is a pansy, a little viola flower. I'll let them, that stay there. And there's some carrots here that were overwintered too. They're very small in the fall. They survived through the winter and now they're just picking back up again. So good sign for the carrots, so I'm planting some more there. Also, this green stock has been amended. I have topped the pockets with some fresh compost that I got at the Queen's Botanical Garden. Just added about a little quarter inch layer here. I usually, I have this planter for a whole year now. I have not changed the soil. I got this in the beginning of last season. The potting soil here is a year old but I have amended a few times through the season, so it's important that I put some nutrients back in here. So this planter also has a base that's called a spinner that makes helps me rotate them easily. So I'm going to plant one side of it with the plants that I have already started last month here, and then the back half of it, I'm just going to put carrots. Carrots take a long time to germinate, so maybe, hopefully by the time they germinate, we're gonna have some more sunlight and it'll be easier for me to keep rotating them. First, I'm gonna write a label because I'm gonna remember what I'm planting here. I always put the date there too, so I know the date that I'm planting. So I'm gonna do this broccoli right here, below the scale. To transplant this, I showed that in my previous video that I just posted. I'm gonna start to push the bottom and then gently take the plant out. You can see here that this one has some roots already kind of wrapping around the edge, but they still look healthy, they still look nice. I have just watered them, so it's a little soaked, but it, you can kind of tease the roots a little bit to help them establish a little better. If they're wrapping down like this, just lightly lose them. And then I'm going to plant right into the pocket. Because I already have some soil in here, I'm just going to dig a little hole in this pocket first, just like this. So the seedling will fit right in there. I'm gonna grab our seedling and put right inside. Put it this way. Now I'm just going to put some soil around the base and that's it. We got our first seedling planted in our green stock. 
after you plant anything it's very important that you water even though this has a watering disc on the top i like to directly water my seedlings on the top soil to help with establishing at the moment of planting and then i will come and water here from the top and if you're planting seeds it's very important that you keep that little topsoil layer very moist as well help with the germination i'm going to plant the other brassicas that i want in here now this calabrian broccoli that i just planted is a sprouting variety of broccoli that's what i'm going to i'm going to put just one more there i have all of these seedlings in here they're still hardening off they're still acclimating for out to outside so i'm going to reserve some of this space for them here too i have some beets in here that i want to plant in there so for now Actually, I'm just going to plant a couple more of those brassicas in the bottom layers. I'm going to put a purple sprouting broccoli right here on this side and a napa cabbage just right here on this other side. So first I'm going to make that little hole with this. The soil is very nice and fluffy. Put it right here. This one, this, the roots were not too bad so i didn't need to taste them and now this beautiful napa cabbage that's getting kind of overgrown so it's good that i'm going to start taking them out of this trays i'm going to start with this one here in the corner let's take a look at this root system oh yeah they needed to go don't damage the rest you see how much roots are in here it would be good for them to get a new home now let me just now if you can notice but there's a little the bottom the base of her plant here from last year i'm going to leave that in there i i'll leave there to dec decompose and eventually become food for the plants that are here too now i'm going to turn this and i am actually going to sow some carrots in this back part here just not into all the pockets because i want to get mixed in with some of these beets too so let me just cut my labels and we're gonna sow these seeds I'm going to start with these three varieties. Carrot seeds are very, very small and sometimes hard, difficult to sow. I like to try to not put them so close together. So for this in each pocket, I'm going to put about just three to four seeds. So I only drop a few in my hand. Then I'm going to gently place them on top of the soil. Separate. One, two. Actually, I got five seeds here. I'm mistaken. I'm gonna do five because they can all fit here. They like to be suffered sold, so you can just gently press them into the soil. This is the Amarillo carrot. Gonna go right here. Now that they're in, it's very important that we keep the surface wet. So I'm gonna use this little water here that I upcycled from a milk jug to gently water them. That way I don't wash my seeds all over the place. So now the top is watered and we can just go ahead and water through this top reservoir now. This is gonna make the water run to this low drip system. Depending on the pressure of your hose, it might take a little bit longer or not but mine's pretty strong so i'm just gonna wait until kind of goes up up to here and make sure that the water is going through all the two is here as you can see the water is already dripping here so it's a slow drip system that's going to water the whole planter look how nice it looks now i can't wait to see those seeds sprouting and to fill up the rest of it with some of the seedlings over there there's one more thing that i want to mention if you don't know yet i'm affiliate with the green stock i love them as you you have three of them so I'm very happy that I can work with them to give you guys a discount. To use my code Mari's Garden, I'm gonna put right here on the screen. You can get $10 off the orders over 75 and it can be combined with sales, which they are just having a sale right now. A super fun one actually. They're doing a sale for St. Patrick's Day for the first time and they're running everything that's green on the website for 25% off. So the planters, the plant supports that are green, they're all gonna have a little discount this weekend. So make sure to head to the website and check that out. I'll have a link to it in my description box down below too. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to like this video if you learned something new and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see how all of these are going to do in my green stock through the season. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you next time.